Hey what's up, in this video I'm going to cover the top 5 fixes and changes coming to MetaHumans in Unreal Engine 5.6.1, the hot patch. This video is sponsored by Black Eye Cameras, whose camera I'm using right now to automatically track and frame my MetaHuman as I walk around completely live. These cameras are really simple to use and the plugin is available on Fab today. So let's start with number 5. If you've been using the new MetaHuman Creator in 5.6 and tried assembling MetaHumans with outfits and grooms for UEFN, there's been some reports that there's been missing textures and verification issues, and those issues have been directly addressed in Unreal Engine 5.6.1, so hopefully UEFN, MetaHumans, and outfits, they're all playing together a lot better now. Moving on to number four, if you've been using the new Capture Manager to convert footage from an HMC like a phone or like a proper setup like a Techno Props, there's been reports of some major slowdowns that I personally definitely have been dealing with. Those have been addressed in 5.6.1, so go ahead and start making your facial mocap and processing it without fear of crashing or having your system get completely locked up. Moving on to number three, there was an issue where if you were in MetaHuman Creator and you tried to download high resolution textures, if you were logged off of your Epic Games account, that would completely crash. This has since been fixed and, well, I still don't know how you're going to download textures if you're not logged in, but maybe it just gives you an error warning now so that you can log in and doesn't just crash completely. Either way, that's a good fix. Not everyone is logged in at all times. I do get kind of randomly logged off every once in a while, so good fix. Happy to see it. Okay, so brace yourselves. We're getting to number two. This is some of the more kind of important updates. Number two is that we basically have a lot more stability when it comes to MetaHuman Creator. Now, I never had these issues, but there were lots of reports that basically when you would even open MetaHuman Creator, it would just straight up crash certain computers. I, never happened to me, but I saw the reports out there, so that has been addressed. And there were some other quality of life changes with the crashing when it came to facial sculpting was an issue I heard, and loading body archetypes. Those things, fair game, it's a brand new system. Some of those would crash for different systems and they found those issues and addressed them. So overall stability with MetaHuman Creator is much better and love to see that. And the number one fix for MetaHumans coming in Unreal Engine 5.6.1, in my opinion, is that we can finally package games and apps with the MetaHuman plugins enabled. Now, if you're not a game developer, you're using MetaHumans for filmmaking and pure Movie Render Q Cinematics, this will never be an issue for you, but for me, I'm a game developer and I'm making an app called CamOp Simulator. I immediately updated to 5.6, added some new MetaHumans, made a whole scene, went to package and put it on Steam, was really excited, and it failed, just completely failed. And I complained about this on LinkedIn, on the forums, on YouTube, and well, I hope that in some small way I helped push this fix along so that I can finally push my new game update. CamOp Simulator has MetaHumans, has mocap, looking just like this so the camera operators can practice virtually. We can finally package that game, so CamOp Simulator users look out. There's a new update coming real soon. And as a special bonus update that I think is pretty interesting is that there was an issue with data flow with outfits where it was choosing the wrong body size. So this is probably not something that anyone really noticed. I don't think I even noticed it, but if you're making outfits that use multiple different body type types, what happens with the outfit system is as you scale the body to different proportions, I think mostly around masculine to feminine, people can actually make two different skins and it'll actually switch between the two. Um, on top of that, there's also different sizing things that can happen. And so I guess the workflow in data flow around choosing this was a little bit off. I didn't notice it, but anyway, that's good to hear, especially because I spend a lot of my time these days making outfits. Glad to hear that they caught it. I definitely didn't see any issues, but that is the special bonus update for anyone doing MetaHumans and outfits at the same time. Well then, that wraps it up for this video. I'm back using the Vicon system to produce some live VTuber content like this YouTube video. This is recorded entirely live using my Vicon system that I just got recalibrated, have the retarget live going pretty well. And the thing that really makes it interesting for me and hopefully you as the viewer makes it slightly more interesting is this addition of the black eye cameras. 
this is just the beginning of it. There's, it can do a lot more, but at the minimum, it's like having a virtual camera person walk around with you. If I walk backwards, I have it programmed so it's gonna follow me. And then if I go side to side, it's also gonna follow me, but try to keep my head sort of in the middle of the frame. This is tuned a little bit slow right now for my taste, now that I'm watching it back, but this is really cool and I'm gonna continue to produce these sort of live YouTube videos here that's really testing what I can do with MetaHumans, motion capture that's also live, like Vicon or Movin, and combining that again with the Black Eye cameras, it's super cool and hopefully you can give it a try. It's available on Fab now. And that wraps it up for this video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.